நண்பர்களுக்கு வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of a renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is the Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. This is the translation of one of my Win TV channel series. Dear Win TV viewers, every week I am sharing some information about astrology in order to let the people understand the concepts of astrology in a simplified manner. So, every week I am sharing some useful information about astrology. During our program in Win TV titled Guruji's Neeram that is Guruji's Prime Time, I am explaining many astrological rules and exceptions in a comprehensible manner to the common people, to those who aspire to become astrologers and also to those who believe in astrology. The objective of this program is to explain astrology in a simplified way. From this week onwards for continuously 12 weeks, we will discuss about the favorable major planetary period of the planets and the best planet positions for each ascendant in the natural zodiac. This will be a special series of 12 weeks as we have reached the milestone 200th episode of our series in Win TV. The program Guruji's Neeram that is Guruji's prime time has been happening since 4 years. With the huge support of the head of the Win TV, Mr. Devanathan Yadav, this program of 1 hour has been happening continuously. We have discussed so many aspects of astrology. It is a milestone that we have successfully done 200 weeks dedicated to astrology. Every week I speak for 10 minutes on different topics of astrology. I speak almost 10 to 15 minutes every week on special topics of astrology before going into live prediction for our viewers. I have spoken many astrological facts every week. Every week we are trying to render useful and new topics in astrology to the Win TV viewers. As an initiative to present something very useful to the people, let us present a package of 12 weeks program to explain the best major planetary periods of the planets and the favorable position or bhava for the planets for each ascendant to deliver benefits in the natural zodiac. If the native must enjoy a good life, what would be the planet position in his or her chart? Which major planetary period should the native undergo to live a fortunate life? Anyone who was born in this world must be born as one of the ascendants in the natural zodiac. Let us see which planets dasha, that is which major planetary period of the planets and which planet position will favor the ascendant to enjoy a fortunate life. So we are going to see right from the first sign that is Aries until the 12th sign that is Pisces ascendant in the natural zodiac. Whatever I teach about the planet positions and dashas for these 12 ascendants can also be applied for the Rashi as well. So whatever I say now, if matches for both Ascendant and Rashi, then the native will enjoy a fortunate life. So first of all, in this video, we will see the best planet positions and dashas for Aries Ascendant. Planet Lord of Aries is Mars. Since a native will reflect the character of the Ascendant Lord, those were born as Aries Ascendant will reflect the Ascendant Lord Mars. The sign of the Aries itself is Ram. The Rams never like to be in solitude. The Rams would like to live as groups. 
In the same fashion, the Aries ascendant would not like to live alone. The Aries ascendant native would always like to spend time together with other people. They would like to socialize with the people. They always prefer to be surrounded by 10 people. The significant character of Aries ascendant is anger. There is a proverb in Tamil that says that where there is anger, there might be excellent qualities. Having said this, the Aries ascendant native will be outspoken, will be angry person, will be vibrant and active. If you want to give the worst punishment to those who were born as Aries ascendant native, you can tell them to stay idle for an hour. This will be the worst punishment given to the Aries Ascendant native as it is a great challenge for them to stay idle. Aries Ascendant natives will always be vibrant and active. The professions of these Aries Ascendant natives are related to Mars such as medicine, infrastructure, authority, sports, professions where red color is involved, then doctors, security forces such as police, uniformed services, that is the services that demands to wear uniform, construction workers and engineers, civil engineers, fields related to construction, sports, security service and guarding service. People of these professions would have been born as Aries ascendants. Aries Ascendant will be successful in the professions related to Mars. The fields related to Mars also include the materials needed for construction, concrete, bricks, stone, construction crushers, the mountain mining, granite and of course the real estate which is a big business nowadays. Laying out the land as plots and construction of buildings. So, the Aries Ascendant will work related to these professions. If Mars has gained Subhatwa by connection with Jupiter, Waxing Moon or Venus or gained Sukshma strength by connection with Ketu, then the professionals will be successful or lead in their fields. The Aries Ascendants are usually inclined to earn money and they would not like to work as an employee for others. The Aries Ascendant would like to be an entrepreneur or will prefer to do business on their own. Now, let us see about the planets that are auspicious and inauspicious to the Aries Ascendant. For Aries Ascendant, only four planets should gain strength. The first is Sun, then the Moon, Jupiter and finally Mars. Mars is the lord of the 8th house for Aries ascendant as well as Lagna lord. Having said this, though Mars is ascendant lord for Aries, it should gain strength secondarily. For Aries ascendant, the planets such as Sun, Moon, Jupiter, Mars and the shadow planet Ketu should gain the strength in the respective order. The other four planets such as Rahu, Venus, Saturn and Mercury must lose the strength for the Aries Ascendant. When the five planets Sun, Moon, Jupiter, Mars and Ketu are strong and the Dasha that is the major planetary period of these planets happen during the life of the native then the Aries Ascendant will live a fortunate life. The biggest fortune for Aries native is that the native must go through the major planetary period that is Dasha of the planets that are auspicious to the ascendant. Therefore, in the middle age that is after 24 or 25 years or at least after 30 years, if the major planetary period of Sun, Moon, Jupiter, Mars and Ketu happens, then the native will be definitely a fortunate person. In the same fashion, the Dasha that should not happen for Aries Ascendant is Mercury. Whenever the major or minor planetary period that is Dasha, Antar Dasha of Mercury happens to the Aries Ascendant, there will be a shortcoming according to the age of the person. 
while i mentioned the favorable dasha for the aries ascendant i should also mention the unfavorable dasha for aries ascendant in contrary to the planets such as sun moon jupiter mars and ketu the delivers benefits to the aries ascendant the primary planet that delivers adverse effects for aries ascendant is mercury when mercury is strong in sixth place to the ascendant or any other bhava with high strength definitely it will deliver deaths enemies or diseases whenever the major or minor planetary period of the mercury happens definitely there will be problems regarding profession business and health the events will happen that are not pleasing to the native whatever the native desires will not happen the native has to be very prudent when the major or minor planetary period that is dasha or antar dasha of the mercury happens there are also certain exceptions for every situation when mercury is subhatva the intensity of the adverse effect is less but we cannot deny that there are no adverse effects while there are planets such as sun moon jupiter mars that exist to deliver benefits there are also planets that exist that give bad effects to aries ascendant such as saturn venus and mercury those aries ascendants who enjoys a major or minor planetary period of the three planets sun moon and jupiter and does not suffer by the dasha of the unfavorable planets such as mercury saturn and venus will live a fortunate life for aries ascendant since the ascendant lord is the lord of the eighth house as well they will live a very long life they will live a long life there are only two ascendants in which case the lord of the first house becomes the lord of the eighth house as well one such ascendant is aries do you know the other one if you know it write it in the comment section the native will have a healthy body the native will intend to take care to keep the body healthy the native of aries ascendant will be very brave they will have a assaultive behavior even for small argument i would like to add something in particular those who are born as aries ascendant who reflects mars will not have forethought in general while the people thinks about the pros and the cons of an action before doing it the aries ascendant will not have forethought even if it involves picking up a fight they are impulsive the natives does not think before the act rather they act first and then they think about it later aries ascendants will do the actions first of all and then they will think about the consequences of the action afterwards this is the character of mars i have many times repeated at a point in win tv program that a native will reflect the ascendant lord well the aries ascendant must enjoy the dasha of auspicious planets that i have mentioned and should not go through the dasha of the four planets such as venus saturn mercury and rahu i would say if aries ascendant is supposed to have the mercury dasha it is better that the native go through the mercury dasha at a younger age the important stage of life of a person will be from 25 or 30 years to 60 years or even up to 65 years so from young to old age that is from 25 to 60 years for almost 40 years if a native gets the major planetary period of auspicious planets such as the dasha of sun moon jupiter and mars then the aries ascendant will be a fortunate person only these four planets should be strong in the trines or the quadrants those are born as aries ascendant the planets such as sun moon jupiter and mars should be in the own house and the house must be the trines or the quadrants to the ascendant if ketu is in virgo 
Scorpio and Aquarius, it delivers benefits to the native. If Saturn, Venus and Mercury are in Upajaya Sthanas like the 3rd house, 6th house, 10th house and 11th house in friendly status, it delivers benefits that is the inauspicious planets to the Aries ascendant that delivers bad effects to the ascendant must be positioned in 3rd, 6th, 10th and 11th houses and the planets must be Subhatva that is it should be in connection with Jupiter, waxing moon or full moon. In this case even the inauspicious planets to the Aries ascendant such as Venus, Saturn and Mercury will not deliver bad effects. When I explain few rules I would like to also add some exceptions. There are common predictions for Aries ascendants. I would like to add a very important point. In whatever state is the planet is, whether it is strong or weak, the auspicious planets such as Sun, Moon, Jupiter and Mars are in, they will not spoil the Aries ascendant. Contrary to this, to whatever extent the Mercury has got Subhatva, it will give setback to the Aries ascendant. The native will not earn the benefits that are proportional to his hard work and efforts. So, when the Aries ascendant have the planet positions and Dasha as I mentioned above, the native will be a very fortunate person and more importantly to enjoy and get whatever I mentioned above, the ascendant lord must be strong. Whatever the situation is, the ascendant lord must be Subhatva. If the Mars aspected by waxing moon or in conjunction with waxing moon, the ascendant lord will be strong and consequently the native will enjoy the benefits given by the planets or if the native is extremely fortunate, the Mars will be aspected by the full moon or in connection with Jupiter. This is what I call Subhatva. Even if Mars is exalted and it is in connection with the waxing moon that is nearing the full moon or aspected by the strong Jupiter or in conjunction with Ketu or even debilitated Jupiter is in connection with the exalted Mars then it will bring great benefits to the Aries ascendant. Thank you. The link of Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. And the link of the Google app is also given in the description box that is available only for the Android users. The link of the Tamil version of this video is also available. Please write your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.